previously on balls. It's time to get. Uh, I'm going to kill our uh, picture there, Mike. You know what we look like. You don't need to see us anymore. New Year, same bandwidth. I don't know. How to I, I don't know what, how it works. No, you're perfect. <laughs> you're fantastic there. We can see you. We can hear you. It's very clear. So, oh, well, uh, well, then I'll try and kill. That's better. Yeah, we go. there we go. Now you, can, you can't see us, but we can see you, which is great. Happy New Year. Yeah. Same to you. Yes, it's, it's another 300 and odd days, and then the year's done again. Yeah. So yeah. Hope, hopefully <laughs> you guys have been up to a lot. We've but, Mike, you know, like... Every, y- you're cool, but you depress me because, like, Michael tweet, like, you're one day closer to death. Make the most of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> New year, but you're closer to dying. Sorry. I'm like, oh, piss off, Mike. <laughs> it's like 10 years. He doesn't, doesn't tweet that. No, it no, does. No, it's, it's, it's just the amount of days that we have to live. You know, if, if people think they can do it tomorrow, tomorrow is a little bit too late. We can do other stuff yes. tomorrow, yeah? We yeah. do it today. Uh, it's kind of, uh, I think it's appropriate that Mike is our first interview because uh, we only returned today uh, for uh, 2013 because uh, one of the more, most fascinating people that we got to speak to last year and, and we're really glad that we did in and amongst when you have the cricketers there and uh, your various adventures. You got a busy year lined up this year? Uh, yes, I've got I've got a bit to do. Um, you know, we, we are planning... Uh, a trip back into Pakistan to try and finish the two 8,000 meter peaks that I haven't done so I've, uh, then I would have done the five 8,000 meter peaks in Pakistan and then uh, we're heading off uh, into the Northwest Passage again and, and I'm trying to find uh, the interaction in between the, the grizzly bears uh, coming into the zone of the polar bears and uh, a couple of years ago I saw an attack of a, a grizzly bear on a polar bear which indicates a little bit of a, a you know a change in the climate yeah. and uh, the the polar bears can swim 100 kilometers but the ice uh, it's about 150 kilometers away from land now so the polar bears that go out they can't find the, the ice they get back to the beach they're quite weak and the grizzly just comes in and knocks them off so we're doing a little bit of a, a documentary on, on that and, you know, the wave action as well, a lot of, of, of the polar bears. And after that, once it starts freezing up in the Arctic, I would start heading uh, down uh, to Patagonia and, um, you know, the last big ice cap that has never been crossed is the northern and southern Patagonian Geocontinental. So yeah. that will be another four months expedition. And in the meantime, uh, when the cricketers come up to Holland, uh, they'll swing by Shutter Day uh, to do a little, little bit of a training camp again. So it's going to be exciting, yeah. The cricketers are playing in Holland. Uh, well, there's there's the world kind of the World Cup, uh, um, like a World Cup, which is not really the World Cup. Um, the Champions Trophy. Inside, I've got to look at the ICC yeah, Champions, Champions Trophy. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is that happening in uh, Holland they, this year? They come, coming up, yeah. So uh, I've, I haven't really looked at it exactly what when they're playing, but uh, mm. uh, they're coming by yeah, again. All right, awesome. You don't have a job for me, do you? I mean, you live. <laughs> you, you got a beautiful <laughs> office there. You're in somewhere up on a mountain in Switzerland. You uh, don't you have, don't you need someone to look after your spot there while you're on your travels all the time. Job. Yeah, we we I actually do need people babysitters uh, <laughs> We're there in the office. We're there. Oh, we no, just come to the show uh, there. We'll just do we, it there. We are all a bunch of babies. We've never grown up, you know. And if you if you can be a babysitter uh, in our office, it, it, it actually means you're doing ex- everything that you love doing. So uh, we kind of have office skiing days. We have office rafting days. Uh, we have office we cycling do, yeah. days. And every day we do a small little activity. Uh, and, and yesterday like we went somewhere. and did some serious powder skiing. You guys would have loved it. Ah, I can imagine. <laughs> it's that time of the year now, isn't it? I mean, is there a lot of snow around for the skiers? Um, we've we've had uh, an early dump, uh, and <laughs> then uh, <laughs> 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 it doesn't sound <laughs> right. Uh, again, Mike. Those are the best kinds of dumps. <laughs> we, didn't, we, didn't eat, we didn't eat much um, during Christmas and New Year, so we had no. No big dump, and then uh, after that, it just started snowing yesterday again. So it actually is uh, the mountains, um, you know, they they whiten, and we haven't seen 
uh, snow like this for many years. So it actually is a very, very good season for us. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, and and you've got an exciting year planned. Well, now, Mike, what we want to say is, uh, when you're on these travels and stuff, please take whatever your Skype unit is or that iPad of yours, and 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 let's. I mean, let's just get a sneak preview of what you're doing around there, especially when you're down there with the Grizzlies and the Polar Bears. Bear us in mind and just just send John a message saying yes. Skype me or contact me. We want to stay in touch with you this year. We'd love that, Mike. It's fascinating stuff. Yeah, no, I can uh, I can take you you guys up to uh, the second highest mountain in the world. You know, it's not done often without oxygen up in K2. Yeah. Uh, and I'll be climbing from the China uh, Chinese side that's quite unique uh, this year. And uh, it's easy to communicate with you guys as we um, as we climb up. Yeah. You know, awesome. it's, uh, we've got a direct line down to the base camp. And then uh, from the base camp, you can follow it live, um, you know, uh, 40 seconds later. So it's it's close to live, but yeah. you can really get a good feel of, you know, what the conditions above 8,000 meters really are. You know, we've only got 7% oxygen up there. And once you start losing your mind and, and you start hallucinating and seeing things you shouldn't That's- see, that would be quite interesting yeah. to see it on radio or to hear about <laughs> yeah. it on radio. Well, yes. we are visual as well, so that's when you must Skype us. When you're getting to that point, that'll be that'll be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, uh, guys, can, the signal problem isn't, isn't from the top. You can you, you, a signal easy from the top of a Pakistani mountain all the way to base camp in here. The problem is here with Vodacom. That's when the signal starts getting dodgy. I, I, I've, I've actually heard so. Yeah, they said it's it's actually in, um, it's, it's crap. It's, you, it's easier to send it to the moon and back. Yeah, yeah it is. It is communicating in in in, in South Vodacom, Africa through Vodacom on Vodacom's network. Yeah, or non-existent network. I think they should change the name to Call Failed Com. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but Mike, I'm, I'm sure you've got amazing um, cameras and all that kind of stuff. So so send us some pictures and we'll stick it on Facebook as well. This is his. This is his IP. This is stuff that you know, can a video know, about. I know, but he just yeah. no, just one or two pictures that we yeah. can. I can send you guys anything. I never sold anything. That's why I'm still a poor, uh, poor explorer. <laughs> Living in <laughs> Switzerland, yeah. <laughs> Mark? Uh, we, we, we give everything, and whatever you guys want, we'll be more than happy to supply Fantastic. you with anything that awesome. you guys need. Awesome. We've got some amazing photos. And, uh, That'll be brilliant. You know, uh, voice, voice tracks from above 8,000 meters are not often heard. So, yeah. um, you know, we can, we can do something quite special. Uh, from there all right we look forward to uh, following mike horn's adventures johnny mike another clinical performance uh, by the proteas yeah you must be very impressed eh? Hmm? beautiful stuff you know but Hmm. now now the boys have to play against the real men you know um all these um warm-up matches and stuff like this the the boys have so much potential and uh you know to push them a little bit further to get to their full potential that they can actually develop their their their, their talents, and uh, they need they need to play, um, you know, against excellent teams. And uh, I think, unfortunately, New Zealand um, they're going through a little bit of a hard time, and uh, our guys could relax a little bit. Although they didn't really relax, they went out there and played like never before after a very, very long period in Australia and in, in England, you know, we can only be proud of our boys. Absolutely. I mean, the intensity in the series was just, as you just say, amazing. they were like a, a Rottweiler that had got hold of someone and then just wouldn't let go. It was just they uh, like absolute tigers. Um, yeah, you know, why, why do you want to dance with somebody for 10 rounds? It's like Muhammad Ali said, I think. He said, why do you want to dance with somebody for 10 rounds if you can punch him out in the first round? <laughs> Yeah. Yes, right. exactly. <laughs> he was asked the people who bought tickets for day four and five of the series. You might be able to ask them. <laughs> Let's give them their money back. Well, they were ten rands. Yeah, no, they apparently what they've done is they've given them. Uh, they can use those tickets for the Pakistani series as well oh, for those nice. days. So that's that's a pretty good one, and that is going to be a heck of a series. I think that's going to be their toughest series of any of Excellent. them yeah. that they've had so far because they've got some really good young talent coming through. Yeah, yeah, the Pakis are, are, are all good. Um, you know, they 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 quite hungry, uh, like always, um, and you know they 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 always seem to be the underdog. But they've got they've got a lot of bite in them. They've got some youngsters or okay. bowlers who love these tracks in South Africa. So they get some exactly. of these tracks like Cape Town and places like that. Wow, good luck. They're gonna uh, they're gonna really sort out uh, cause a few problems. But it's nice. It's nice to see a big challenge. I'm sure you'll enjoy that as well. 
No, no, definitely. I'll, I'll, you know, I will be um, involved a little bit more this year as I'm not full time on, on, on my expeditions. Cool. And um, we're just in a planning phase. So um, it would be good to meet up with the boys again. And some of them have been around back to Switzerland. And, um, you know, it's, it's good to see them uh, grow. You know, it's, if, if they can grow, uh, they can stay number one. Yeah. And I think that is, we have one of the best. Uh, Pretia teams ever yeah. uh, and they're young and that's that's what makes them so great Awesome stuff Mike, well as I say it was fascinating chatting to you every time last year we thank you for your time again today and look forward to many many more during the course of 2013 Definitely, I'll keep you guys updated and you guys are doing a great job, thanks for including the the real true South African sitting in the middle of the Swiss there Alps, we go. you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Still, we still drink brandy and coke and we <laughs> still speak like uh Boer Afrikaans or uh, English. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we still eat pop and wash, so there don't forget go. us. Never um, ever, won't do. Thanks a lot, Mike. Have a good one. Chat to you yes, soon. Yes, Mike. Thank uh, you. Hope you get some more big dumps. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 There's Mike Horn joining us from uh, his chalet up in Switzerland. This is Ball's Visual Radio. Darren, Simon, Kate and John. Weekdays from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Central African time. Balls.co.za.